Do tornadoes really twist? Questions and answers about tornadoes and hurricanes. Part of the Scholastic Question and Answer series, this book is by Melvin and Gilda Berger, illustrated by Higgins Bond. Do tornadoes really twist? Contents and a key of abbreviations. Introduction. Tornadoes and hurricanes are among the most violent and terrifying of all natural events. No one who has lived through them ever forgets the strength and fury of these storms. Perhaps you've been caught in a tornado or hurricane, or you may have seen pictures on television or read about them. Either way, you probably have lots of questions. Do you wonder how these storms start, when and where they strike, how much damage they do, whether people can stop a tornado, which has the worst hurricane in history, which was the worst hurricane in history, what you should do during a tornado or hurricane. Do Tornadoes Really Twist answers all these questions and many, many more. It also gives lots of information and weird facts you can use to astound and amaze your friends. So what are you waiting for? Turn the page and enter the scary world of tornadoes and hurricanes. Melvin Berger, Gilda Berger. Tornadoes, what and why? Do tornadoes really twist? Yes. At the center of the storm, tornado winds spin around at very high speeds. Some twist and twirl at more than 300 miles, 480 kilometers an hour. Tornado winds are the hardest blowing winds on Earth. Small wonder that tornadoes are called twisters. What is a tornado? A severe windstorm. You know it's a tornado when you spot a twisting, spinning funnel reaching down from a huge, dark cloud. The funnel looks like a huge elephant trunk swaying back and forth. A tornado funnel could be 10 feet, 3 meters, so slightly over a slightly over one mile or 1.6 kilometers wide. Some funnels do not extend to the earth. Others touch down and race across land. Still others skip or leap from one point to another. They touch down, plow a path of destruction, and rise up into the air. What color are tornado funnels? Most are white or clear in color at first. They may even seem to shimmer in the light. When they touch the ground, however, the funnels turn black or gray as they sweep up tons of dirt, dust, and debris. What happens before a tornado? A severe thunderstorm strikes the area. Very few thunderstorms produce tornadoes, but every tornado is formed by a parent thunderstorm. Do hailstones fall before a tornado? Quite often. The strong thunderstorms that create tornadoes often produce hailstones as well. Hailstones form when winds carry raindrops up to where it is very cold. The raindrops freeze and become bits of ice. The icy lumps start to fall and collide with drops of water in the clouds. The water freezes onto the icy bits, making them grow larger. This happens again and again, until the icy lumps are big and heavy. Then they fall to the earth as hailstones. How do tornadoes grow out of thunderstorms? No one is quite sure. Scientists have several theories about how tornadoes form and are working hard to understand them better. Some severe thunderstorms produce the powerful twisting winds of a tornado, but most thunderstorms do not, and scientists are trying to figure out why. Do tornado winds always twist in the same direction? No. In the northern hemisphere, most tornadoes twist counterclockwise. In the southern hemisphere, most twist clockwise. How big are tornadoes? Not big at all. Tornadoes are usually less than 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers wide, and travel along paths that are no more than 16 miles, 26 kilometers long. Tornadoes may be small, but their power and violence cause great devastation. This diagram shows tornado winds twisting counterclockwise. How long do tornadoes last? Usually less than one hour. Some tornadoes die out in just a few minutes. Groups of tornadoes sometimes form at about the same time. These tornadoes strike one after another, creating stormy conditions for several hours. In which direction do tornadoes move? In the United States, most, most move from the southwest to the northeast. This is because tornadoes travel with their parent thunderstorms, which usually go in this direction. Weather experts map the movement of tornadoes by marking the tracks tornadoes leave when they touch the earth. How fast do tornadoes move? 
about 35 miles or 56 kilometers an hour. The most dangerous ones reach speeds as high as 70 miles, 113 kilometers an hour. The fastest moving tornado on record occurred on March 18, 1925. The storm passed through the middle of the United States at the speed of a freight train up to 73 miles or 117 kilometers an hour. Do tornadoes make noise? Yes. The powerful spinning funnel wind often makes a shrill hissing or whistling noise that you can hear from miles around. Some say the sound is like the buzzing of a million bees. When the tornado touches down and rips across the earth, the sound changes. The hiss becomes a loud, deafening roar. People compare it to the noise of a hundred jumbo jets taking off at the same time. Others say it is more like the sound of a speeding train rumbling through a narrow tunnel. Either way, the noise of a tornado is not one that you would soon forget. This map shows tornado tracks from a number of thunderstorms that occurred on April 3rd and April 4th of 1974. Do tornadoes make houses explode? No. In the past, scientists thought tornadoes created a vacuum that made houses explode, but now they know that's not true. Houses often just seem to have exploded because the strong winds blow off the roofs and walls. How much damage do tornadoes cause? Plenty. The powerful twisting winds of a tornado can pick up objects as big as trains, carry them aloft, and then smash them down on the ground. Do you remember the tornado in The Wizard of Oz? The storm came to camp. The storm comes to Kansas, picks up Dorothy's house, and carries it far, far away to the magical land of Oz. That was just a movie. But tornadoes have lifted whole houses off their foundations and moved them many feet or meters away. Tornado damage stays within a narrow path. A house on one side of a street may be smashed to bits. A house on the other side will often not even have one broken window. Are tornadoes always violent? Yes. But sometimes the tornado's winds lift up objects and then set them down safely. One tornado picked up a crate of eggs, carried it 500 yards or 457 meters, and placed it on the ground without cracking a single shell. Another tornado near Ancona, Italy, in September 1981, hoisted a carriage with a sleeping baby 50 feet or 15 meters into the air. It then set the carriage down nearly 330 feet or 101 meters away without even waking the child. What happens when a tornado passes over water? You get a water spout. Instead of pulling up dirt and debris, the tornado pulls up water. Most water spouts last about a half hour. The funnel spins the funnel winds spin more slowly over water than over land. Water spout. Tornadoes when and where. When do tornadoes occur? All year long, but most tornadoes come between April and June with the highest number in May, the fewest occurring during December and January. Tornadoes can form at any time of day or night, but most develop late in the afternoon, the warmest time of the day. The largest number touch down between 4 and 6 p.m. Where do most tornadoes strike? The midsection of the United States and Canada, but every state of the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii, has had at least one tornado. The record for most tornadoes in the United States was set in April 1974. During one 24-hour period, 148 tornadoes slammed through the South and Midwest. What is Tornado Alley? A stretch of land in the middle of the United States. Tornado Alley includes parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, Arkansas, Iowa, Alabama, Florida, and Mississippi. More tornadoes pass through this area than anywhere else in the world. Thunderstorms form in Tornado Alley when cold air flowing across the Rocky Mountains meets warm air flowing up from the Gulf of Mexico. Only a few of the thousands of thunderstorms that form there produce tornadoes. Tornado Alley. Down here it says number of tornadoes per 1,000 1, square miles or 1,600 square kilometers. 1 to 5 tornadoes, 6 to 10 tornadoes, 11 to 15 tornadoes, more than 15 tornadoes. How many tornadoes occur each year in the United States? About 800, because it is so huge, Texas has more tornadoes than any other state, an average of 139 a year. In 1967 and again in 1995, 232 twisters struck this state. 
But central Oklahoma is struck by tornadoes more often than any place else in the world. Can mountains stop a tornado? No. Every once in a while, tornadoes do occur in mountainous country. A good example is the tornado that passed near Jackson, Wyoming on July 21st, ni- July 21st, 1987. The storm swept over mountains as high as 10,000 feet or 3,048 meters without the winds losing their force. Can tornadoes strike more than once in the same place? They sure can. Two tornadoes can hit the city of Austin, Texas within a half hour on May 4, 1922. Oklahoma City has been struck 33 times in the last 90 years, making it the most tornado-battered city in the entire country. Which was the worst tornado of all time? The tornado of March 18, 1925. This wild storm mostly moved in a straight line from Missouri to Indiana. Since it occurred long before the National Weather Service issued tornado watches and warnings, the storm caught many people off guard without time to run for shelter. Everything about the 1925 tornado was monstrous. Path? 219 miles or 350 kilometers speed as high as 73 miles 117 kilometers an hour width 1 mile 1.6 kilometers air destruction 164 square miles 425 kilometers squared duration three and a half hours number people number injured 2027 people number killed 689 people cost 17 million dollars a tornado approaches 1925.